in this upload I'm going to be looking for ancient Native American artifacts on the Ohio River um, several trips out kind of like a mud larking adventure too I'm gonna to go to a bottle place and look in this video and see if I can't find some old bottles but the finds are coming up next I appreciate you watching well I got a nice point it's not the nicest point I've ever found or nothing but look at the waves today and the water come up I got down, I can't even go across the river. The weight caps are three, four foot out in the middle. I've already got water swamped in my boat, had to drain it. Got all wet and you know, it's 30 some degrees. I'm not too warm. Thought, well, I'm gonna suck it up. I'm gonna do some screens and I found points in here before. It's a little bit more gravelly than I usually like, but there's fire rock in the gravel. And I got a little, it might be a big sandy. Do you see it? It kind of looks nice. Looks all there. And you know, I couldn't ask for a nicer point on a day like today. I thought I was seriously gonna find nothing. I almost left and just went to a dump. But I'm glad I stuck it out. I'd rather, this stuff's just way better than anything I can find in the dump with the exception of Crocs. And I still like it better. But do you see the point? It's right here. It's a little big sandy. It's a sharp and down one, but it's nice. It's almost got a bevel there to that right side. It's all there. It's got a ground base. I'm not taking my gloves off. I can see the grinding on it. It's a little big sandy. Perfect condition. On a day like today, wow. I'll see if I can't get something else later. Decided I'm on my way out of here. Um, I rolled this log back and you can see I could see some fire rocks sticking out beside it and I'm almost back to my kayak and I thought oh, I'll do a few screens in here like I always do I never leave when I say I'm going to but there's something right there it looks maybe broke but huh that would have been decent did it might even be whole might just be made that way kind of appears to be like a little knife so I got another thing point now this it's kind of crude but still it's an artifact I haven't left yet I decided to come up the shore a little bit but I got another little artifact I thought I'd show you it's been about 15 minutes of sifting I'm gonna leave pretty shortly but it's right here it's another knife see it's a little leaf shape preform or a knife of some kind nothing to brag about but it's still an artifact later yeah, it's a pretty nice artifact it's that green shirt you can see how it's all been popped the the spas have been popped off all around this is a beautiful core and it's that green flint it's a core this is like a piece that they were you can see here these little indentations in the side that's where they struck off bladelets and stuff and little pieces to make flint tools anciently and this is what was in their hand and they were making tools right off this that's pretty nice it's probably amos point related that big sandy i find i find these points right in with the amos points even when i dig in the bank in the same layer they're associated for sure i've done this long enough to know it. but this was sticking out right here right by my kayak and that's a nice one so I got one more artifact and I'm leaving now. I'll add dump clips to this video next. Later. Let me get my glove off here. I think I got something that looks broke. Hold on. See right, right there? That looks like a broken point to me or something. It is. It's a Madison. 
Look at that. The tip's gone and there's a piece off the base here. Real thin little Madison point. Would have been nice. Slightly serrated. That would have been a nice one. But, busted. I could tell it was broke there. Um, I'll get back if I see anything else. I'm going to look several places. Um, right there's a piece of flint. Hell, oh, that's a point. I think that's a arrowhead. Holy crap. It's got a little damage, but it is. Hold on. See, it's a good, beautiful material. Right there's the notch. There's the other notch. It's got a tip ding and a base ding. That's kind of cool. Two laying right there together. There was, you saw them boat waves. That's why I'm out. I'm looking where all the boat waves lapped up on the shore. Later. Here's a pretty cool marked up brick. Look at that. Just pulled it out of the water. I'm going to take that. It says stuff on it. I think it says Alamo's. I don't know. Something S. A-M-O-S. Stuff down there too. Screen ever where I found this, that Kirk point earlier this month. Right there's a section of a point. I'll show it on cleanup. It looks like a Madison, but I don't know. I'm gonna look around here. Now I'm sifting. I walked right by this coming in here. Right there's an old cork bottle and it says stuff on it. French gloss. What the heck? And that's balloon. Oh, look at this. Whitmore Boston. French gloss. I've never found that. What a nice little find. Walked right by it. Perfect. Slightly aqua. It says French gloss on it. Whitmore Boston. And it's balloon for sure. Wow. That's a good find for laying out. Man, see the seam ends right only about a fourth of an inch up on the neck. That's a nice little bottle. Probably 1915 or so. Nice. I'm looking for air. Yeah. Got a bottle. All right, I've been sifting these areas here where the mud's on. There's rock laying in here. I haven't found anything else since that broken point in that bottle. You can see right there's a flake laying out. There's points laying in here. I'm just getting cold and I'm gonna go. Found that bottle on a broken point over here. I'm gonna go and then several broken ones before on the other side of the river. We'll get out of here. I'll show you some points. I just was gonna leave and I came up here higher and I see a tip, I think. And right here's a flake. Uh, there's some stuff in here. It's phrased up in here, but right here's a tip and it would have been real nice. Oh, it looks paleo. Oh, it is. It's a fluted point. Look at the flute right here. That's a paleo point. Right there's the flute. You can tell. Oh, fakes. That's a fluted point. Made a shocked and flint. And it's the base is snapped off, and you can see the fluting channel right there. Oh, it's got that paleo chipping. That's a fluted paleo point. Would have come down and had a little car, would have been a man, that would have been nice. Yeah, we'll get this just makes the trip even better with this this weight. This is to make it sink in the water. It's Bob. A brand new duck mallard duck decoy. Look at that. That's nice. I have a bunch of these, but this is the nicest one I've found in years. Most of them are tore up. This is brand spanking new, figs. That's beautiful. Later. All right, I'm out again walking. The river's way down, so I have potential to find something. It's freezing. It's the coldest day of the week for sure. If you're in a higher or surrounding states, you know how cold it is today. The wind's kind of blowing a little bit too. But if you like this kind of stuff and you enjoyed this video, I'm always out looking, so there'll be more to come. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll get back on another video when I find something nice, which shouldn't be long. Later. All right, I'm out on the river. I got a point here. It's broke. But we'll add this one to this clip. 
this video instead of me starting a new one, which I am. See, it's a little late side notch. It almost looks like a fish spear, a mid or kick point. Right there, you can see the notches, but it's broke. Finding the broken ones, but at least I'm finding stuff. Later. All right, I just got a little lancet, L-A-N-C-E-T. You can see all the edge work on it there. It's worked all the way around. It's a little flake knife. Spalled off like a core that I'll show at the end. I found a core in this video too. But look at that material. It's real high grade little knife. It's all pressure flaked all the way up that edge. That ain't bad. All right, here's a look at all the stuff I found and what it would have probably looked like. Um, most definitely. These are triangular points. They're about 800 to 1,000 years old on the sites I found. That's just a midsection there. I found that in this video. But they would have just looked like this. I'm notched examples. This point would have looked, you know, probably that looks a little real nice the way I did it. It's kind of a crudely made point, so I'd say it was a little rougher than how I've got it drawn on, but you get the picture. It's a notch point. Just the tip, there's damage up the side and the base is gone. Found that bullet, I didn't film it. Got these two blades. In the core, they would have taken pieces off this. You can see where the spalling hammers hit it. But I would say how this is built. They were taking flakes off this side. Long slivers and making preforms. And this is an exhausted one. I don't really see them. It's kind of a core making technology. And I think they would have got platforms to strike on this and this one's just exhausted it's small it was a much bigger piece they were taking like pieces across or this way and then they were making blades like this and then percussion flaking them this one's all percussion flaked you can see there's no edge work on this no pressure flaking it's all percussion and it would have come off something like this they would have spalled off the piece and then they would have percussion flaked it into the blade. And then they would have pressure flaked it into an arrowhead. Here's this little point I found. It's pretty nice. This might even be a sharpened down Amos. It could be a big sandy. It's a sharpened down point. It's ground base and notches. It's made arc acre before. I just am not completely positive what it is. Kind of has some big sandy traits. Kind of has some Amos traits kind of has some Brewerton traits I'm not sure but here's the the Clovis it's what it is it's ground right up to there you can see even the grinding like where it was maybe hafted and then it was resharpened it's ground nicely up to here but the base is popped see the the cross section of it and on this side right up to there it's ground and there's the fluting channel the backside doesn't have a fluting channel. It was probably lightly fluted at the base, but we don't know how much of it's gone. I'd say there was at least that much more. I think I've probably put a little bit too much on it there, but I don't know. It's hard to tell what this looked like. But this is a 13,000 year old man-made object. So that would have been one heck of a find. But not bad, this represents two trips. I hope you enjoyed the video. Later. Alright, here's a few more finds from this video that I found the next day. Um, I've been out on the river three hours today. I found other stuff too, but it'll be in the other video. This camera shows the stuff a little better. This is some kind of mid arcade point, but you can see it's broke. And here's this little flake knife. I wanted to get this camera out so you could see, see the edge work on it there. It's been pressure flaked. You can see how translucent it is. It's even got pressure flaking on this back edge. You can see it probably right there. See the little flakes taking off? And all right there. You can see the chipping good. It's a beautiful little flake knife. It's made out of river cobble agate. It's probably Amos related. Right there. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll keep them coming. Make sure you subscribe. You know, here's a little clip of my buddy to put in the video. He just got all kinds of cut up fruit. 
seven kiwis right now. You woofing it? He's got apples and he... Here. Yeah, you having a... He's eating the kiwi again. Look at him. What a good boy, buddy. It's my pet squirrel. For all you new people. The squirrel man. Man, you was hungry, buddy. He's loving that kiwi, that's for sure. I got you all kinds. There's like half of one here, buddy. Look at him. Alright, enjoy the rest of the video. Later, pigs. Mm -hmm.